Season three of Adam Walks Around was brought to you in part by Go Stock Go, a stock market guide for enterprising children and their curious parents. Everything you were afraid your kids would ask by Bennett Zimmerman and richly illustrated by Kathy Kamel. It's a bestseller for all ages available at Amazon. By printed book and Kindle download is free. We're on the move again. After two months in Indonesia, it's time for a change of scenery, and we're gonna be hitting KL, Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malaysia. Now, I haven't walked us through the procedure every time you hit a new country, so there's a couple of things you gotta do. First, you gotta clear immigration. Obviously, you gotta get your bags, but also you gotta make sure you have some foreign currency, sorry, local currency, and um, you have to get a local SIM card so you don't get totally hosed on Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And also, if you get in the jam, like you need to bail out of a bad tax or something like that, ah, here's my stuff, I see I'm late to the party then you can do it. So I'm gonna to attend to that and be back with you. So now here's a fun fact about Malaysia. Bahasa Malay, the local language here, is very similar to Bahasa Indonesia, the language I've been speaking with varying degrees of fluency for the last two months. So while I'm here in Kuala Lumpur, I can continue to speak Indonesian and people will kind of sort of understand me. If they don't, they'll just figure I don't speak Malay very well. Now my guitar didn't make it, so we're going to the oversized bags where hopefully they will be, it will be. There's my baby. Not that I've played her that much lately. All right, we're good to go. Next step, get some cash. Now usually you go straight to the ATM and you just have small change with you from the prior country, but it's Ramadan in the Muslim world, which means a lot of the ATMs run out of money because the banks are closed. So I actually hit the ATMs early and often in Indonesia and I'm kind of loaded. All right, next is customs. Now, since I'm carrying quite a bit of electronic equipment for my music stuff, I always worry a little bit that they're gonna ding me for that. But usually they're most interested in my CPAP machine, which I uh, use to treat apnea. And uh, they're not used over here that much. In fact, I'm hoping in Kuala Lumpur I can buy some supplies because it's a fairly big city. No issues there. So uh, we just gotta get the SIM card, which will take us over there, and then get ourselves into Kuala Lumpur, which is about a half hour straight shot from here. But I've elected to cheap out and take the bus, which takes more like an hour, but it costs about, oh, 8,000% less. So what happens is when you get here, they'll give you a bunch of different plans. They basically usually herd you into one or two. Um, the price varies. It's going to be $9 for me to have internet, uh, 60 minutes of local calling, and a few texts, uh, which is, you know, it's okay for eight days. And uh, so I will have, in the phone I'm filming on right now, a Malaysian SIM card. She's registering my passport so that I, they can prove I'm not a drug trafficker or something like that. And now we're good to go. So I got to turn off the phone so she can do her job. Okay, we got that going on, and she was kind enough to change one of my large bills into small bills. This is important because even though, happily, the condo I'm staying at is very close to the bus station, I'm probably going to need to get a cab because I got all this crap with me. And you always want to have small change on you because the, the cab drivers, you'll get there, it's, it costs 35 whatever, and you've only got 100 whatever, and guess what? They don't have any change, so whatever, you gotta pay them. Now let me tell you a little bit about Kuala Lumpur. It's actually a really cool city. Now I've only been here once. I've been at this airport several times, but I usually stayed at the airport hotel. Uh, I was here pretty early on with my first um, 
with a, my first girlfriend I told you about a few episodes back and uh, had a really good time there and I haven't really been back since. Had a really good impression of Kuala Lumpur or as the locals call it, KL. Um, I've got a lot of things I want to do here. I want to get my hair done. I know a lot of you like the white hair, but I'm, I'm over it. I'm ready to go back to the dark. And if you don't like it, don't worry. It'll change five more times before the series is over. Uh, I want to get some CPAP supplies. I want to see the Elton John Rocket Man movie uh, and something else I forgot. But basically, I've been in small cities or small towns for the last two months, so we're hitting the big time. And just like in the States, if you're on the road and you can't afford to find something really healthy, you can always hit Subway. stand was and he just walked away so that was a good move so now I got to find the taxi stand well the bus driver directed me outside but I only see one taxi and it's getting dark and it occurs to me that grab is probably operative in KL so I'm gonna give that a shot that's always a better bet well I'm having trouble getting a grab and I'm having trouble confirming the place is where I think it is but the good thing is my Airbnb host has just reached out and said, where the hell are you? So hopefully I will get some clarity before I run out of batteries. Mission accomplished, here we go. Hello. This is Fung, Fung is my driver. Hello. Hello. Fung, you, you are from uh, Daddy Ch China? No, I'm Malaysian. Malaysian, but Chinese descent? Yeah, Chinese, yes. Yeah, and you I'm all? I'm Chinese. You all probably think I'm terribly rude yeah, to ask hello. that question. But actually, in Malaysia, just like in Indonesia, the religion is part of your identity. The ethnicity is a big deal in Malaysia. Am I correct? Yeah. Malaysia is basically divided into three people: the Malaysian population, the majority Malaysian population, the Chinese uh, descended, descended population, and the Indian descended population. Is that correct, Fung? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this uh, creates some localized political issues. Hello. Fong says hello. Hello. <laughs> we made it. Here we go. It's like Mission Impossible. Mailbox 263A has my key if it's open. And it's not it is. Okay. And here we are. I didn't realize I was sharing the condo. I've never done that before. But it's eight days, if nothing else. It will be a learning experience. As always, when you're in a new place, coming in a way you've never done before, the important thing is just you get there. And I got there. So. Kuala Lumpur. Well now, I got some problem. These are not the same kind of jacks we have in Indonesia, and I very stupidly, when I left the US, left my universal adapter at home. This phone is almost dead. I'll have to hook it up to my laptop to charge it a little because I gotta go out and find an adapter. It's always something. So this is a replay of that time when the power cable broke and I had to go looking for it and I had kind of a time limit. And it's, it's thundering outside, it's kind of wild. Um, anyway, the good thing though is I'm in a big city. There is a mall with an electronics uh, section that's open till 10, it's 8.30 now. That seems to be within uh, striking distance. But what I'd like to be doing is resting and unpacking. That's not gonna happen yet. So one of the first things you do when you get to a new place is you'll walk around, see how close the nearest convenience store is. See how close the nearest laundry is. See how close the nearest massage parlor is. And most important, how close the nearest coffee is. 
and I've just walked around for 40 minutes and I could find none of those things within a kilometer of the condo. All I was able to find was a Catholic church, a some sort of a government building, and uh, a numerous freeways. So right after I said I was gonna to go to the mall, then the, the host emailed me, said he could get me the adapter, he could get me some dinner. I said, great, that's all great. And I sent him a picture of the adapter. Well, he didn't get the concept of the adapter. He just looked at the plug and freaked out and goes, we don't have that plug in Malaysia, which is like, of course we don't. That's why I need the adapter. So he texts me back and say, say, well, we don't have that. Do you want an adapter and do you have dinner? I had already said yes to both. Never saw the second message. Went outside, just on the off chance something got screwed up, which it did. Walked around in the rain for 40 minutes, trying to find something nearby. There's nothing. Came home, no adapter, no food. So, out I go. So now, whoa, what's this? Oh, that's so bright, it doesn't even show up. Look at that. Okay, so the only food within walking distance is little Indian takeout shops, which will do in a pinch, but it's not really, yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's not what I call grab and go for me. It, Indian requires too much thought. So the friendly Indian folks at the store say there's some hardware stores still open down there. This is just non-stop Indian stuff. Oh, it's a good thing I don't believe that getting wet causes colds. So you, 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 you. Anda punya tapi anda bilang tidak 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 sedia. Only one sitting. Only one? Only one sitting. You just sitting on it. You don't have, but you have right here. Yeah. Only in here. Yeah, this this will work, right? That's what I thought. Five ringgit. What's that? Five ringgit. Okay, but only you. Satu saja. Mamsa satu saja. Okay. All right, so that was a lucky break. So now let's find some food. It's like the Blues Brothers. They got both kinds of food, Indian and Indian. See, the problem with Indian isn't that I don't like it. Actually, I do like it, but I, it's not a food. Uh, it's not a cuisine that I'm so conversant with that I can walk into a place at the middle of the night and figure out what I want and get it quickly. Is, which is what's required in this situation. Wow. Okay, this helps me. Pictures. So, Speak. What? Speak. What? Speak. Okay. Uh, anything like that is good. Uh, do you want to um, How about the paratha? Do you have, or the mooli paratha? It's all paratha. Do you, I have one right now. Potato paratha. Okay. Chapati, methi paratha. Okay. Cheese paratha, paneer paratha. Well, that all good. That, that all sounds good and comes with sauce and stuff, right? Sorry. Um, dunkan sauce. Yeah. Okay. Bagus. Uh, okay. Thank, all right. you. Thank you very much. These folks are being very patient. With me. I just said I wanted something like what that guy had. <laughs> and they're like, well, we could do this, we could do that. And I'm like, I'm just tired. And I just need some food. Figure something out. What do you want, any sweet? Sweet, like? Uh, like a love jamun, like two party, jalebi? Uh, uh, sure. Anyone can. Yeah. Some, some, some bread stuff and some sauce stuff oh, and some vegetable stuff. Thank you, sir. And this is why I didn't want to pick Indian. What do you want? Uh, vegetable, anything. What have you got? Do you want a Nesco B, anything? Or coffee, I've got to be up for a week, a long time. Beer. Beer? No. Uh, no, that's a great idea. No, what do you want? You want a Melwes? Do you have a beer? No, no beer. Melwes? Melwes? Is that good? 
Sweet. Normal sweet. Normal. Uh, normal sweet. Sweet. Uh, medium sweet. Medium sweet. Okay. Thank you. Terima kasih. How do I say thank you in Indian? Harumamsi. Harumamsi. I see. Harumamsi. Harumamsi. Okay. Welcome. Terima kasih. What do you want to do? What? Chicken. Chicken fry. Sure. Chicken, you do Chicken what? Chicken what? Chicken leg. Chicken leg? No leg, no leg, no. No, um, no leg. And this is okay. This is good. This is good. Oh, the is it's hot. Good, it's hot. Wow. Oh, this is the, okay, now, now, what is this called? Milo ice. Milo ice. Milo ice, it's Milo, it's Milo. Milo every day. Milo. Okay, I gotta, okay, I gotta explain. It's Milo. Okay, this is a big moment. Okay, so I have to explain this. Everybody's looking at me like everybody always is every time I do this. So Milo is this drink, kind of like Ovaltine, that's over here in Asia. Every, everywhere has it. And then the Philippines even have this jingle, Milo every day, Milo every day. Anyway. So I have never had Milo, and before I even thought of this blog, I was gonna make a big deal about drinking Milo for the first time, and now completely by accident, because this gentleman got me Milo, I'm gonna have Milo for my first time. So we get to see my reaction to Milo. Very good, thank you. What is your name? Sing? Sing. Okay, I'm Adam. Thank you, sir. Thank you for welcoming me to your restaurant. We'll give you a good review. I got seconds. Thank you. It's very good. 16 bucks. 16. Okay, it's good. Uh, four bucks, basically. Thank you, everybody. Madam. All right, those guys saved my ass. Svin Vasa, those guys, if you're ever in Kuala Lumpur, they'll treat you right. So one thing I've learned in my very brief time in Kuala Lumpur, Teddy Maxi Banyak, and thank you very much. Don't worry, welcome anything. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Adam. Singh, Adam Singh. Adam Singh? Adam Singh. I am Adam Singh. I sing. I am from the United States. USA? USA, yeah. Okay. Yes. Are you brother there? What's that? New York restaurant. You have a restaurant in New York? Yeah, me Bulbinder Singh Namdari. Singh. Singh. Bulbinder Singh. New York. That's great. Yeah. Well, vegetarian, I, vegetarian. I'm staying right over there in the tower there. Oh, no. So I will see you again. Tomorrow coming. Maybe. Tomorrow go back. Tomorrow what? What day go back? What day I go oh, back to the U.S.? Yeah. Oh, I'm never going back. I like it too much in Asia. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, I'm Welcome not worried. Anytime. What? Welcome and thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, don't worry. So one thing I've realized already is that the Indian population here in Kuala Lumpur do not speak Malay, which means my Indonesian come Malay is useless in communicating and we're back to the age-old language of gesturing and broken English. So yeah, if you ever want to do what I do and just bounce around countries, then I just showed you how to do it. And the whole part where something goes south unexpectedly, when you get there, that pretty much happens all the time. Right, guys? All right. <laughs> so yeah, my roommate, didn't understand what an adapter was, also didn't have any clean towels ready for me because he was in Bali and he didn't have time to do it. <laughs> it's going to be a long, long week. Hey, Adam here, future Adam, and I just want to thank each and every one of you that contributed to the successful GoFundMe for season three of Adam Walks Around. 
Um, I'm just grateful beyond words, and I'll keep trying to make the best show I can. Thanks.